Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Khan Solving. So guys, here uh, in this session, we are going to start basic setting. So what we have done in previous session, guys, in previous session, like we have done enterprise structure. In the sense, simply we have set up like Tata Group, then Tata Hotel, then finally further we have segregated like uh, based on the revenue, like it is like uh, manufacturing unit, service unit as a business area, right? Now, so if you have like, let's suppose, as I told you that when it, when we are going to post a transaction, right? So while posting the transaction, multiple details are required to be entered. So this transaction is getting posted for which subsidiary, Tata Motor, Tata Steel, Tata Chemical, right? So this is already set up into SAP as a company code. So now we are having answer. It is going to be posted for Tata Motor. So we can select the company code TM double zero, right? That we have selected. We have created TM double zero, right? As a company code. Instead of writing complete name, we can select this code. System will be able to understand that this is TM00 is nothing but Tata Motor itself. Right? Now, apart from this multiple other informations are also required. For which fiscal year, which financial year it is going to be posted? Right? 2019, 20. So that is also supposed to be set up into system, guys, because now if you talk about the fiscal year, financial year, guys. The financial year is like let's suppose I say like 2020-21. Okay, if I talk about 2020-21, then generally it is 2020 itself. Financial year means a single year itself, right? Whether you say 2019-2020, you know what is happening? Like if you talk about the fiscal year for a particular country like India, so here what is happening, guys? We are following April to March. Some other countries are there, Middle East and all. Let's suppose they are following July to June, October to September, Jan to December. How SCP will come to know that which fiscal year, which financial year we are going to follow? So that we need to set up into SAP, right? So that is going to be discussed. Again, complete discussion will happen on that. Don't worry. Now, so first of all, and then after what is happening, guys. After this fiscal year, uh, like let's suppose it is for 2020-21, whatever I said, right? In financial year, like whether it is a calendar year or non-calendar year, that is again a question. So for that, what we have to do, we have to set up fiscal year variant into SAG. That is called fiscal year is nothing but financial year, right? Then, then the next thing is this transaction is getting posted for which month? Right, which month? Like, uh, say for example, it is June. So, which period actually? Right, period number one, two, three, four, and even period is also going to be like, let's suppose it is June. Right, so June, if you talk about June, so June means which period, guys? If it is June, means what? Like, period number which? Which month? Sixth month, right. So six months that too, if we are going to follow Jan to December, then it is sixth period, sixth period. If we are following April to March, then which period guys? Tell me somebody. April to March means? Yes. So it is third period, not twelfth. So April to March means April is the first period. May is the second period and June is the third period, right? If we are following July to June, then which period? Yes, in that case it is 12th period, right? So now we are going, these all are the part of basic settings. Even some other configurations are also there in this. So that we are going to discuss one by one. So now here, look at here, guys, basic settings. So multiple configurations we have to do in basic settings. What are those configurations that we are going to discuss one by one? And what is the use of those configurations? What kind of controls are there, right? That we are going to discuss. First of all, so look at your posting period variant. What is this posting period variant, right? What is the use of posting period variant? Okay, so look at here, guys. Now, posting period variant means posting period variant controls the posting of transactions for a specific period. 
right? Posting of transactions for a specific period. Now, so it's a kind of control. Okay, it is having like if you talk about posting period variant, guys. What is the use of this posting period variant? So posting period variant, generally it is a kind of we can say like there is a control. We are going to control certain things. Which things are going to be controlled, guys? Now I'll tell you how the controls are going to happen. It's very simple. Now, say for example, so 2020 onwards, Tata Motors is going to use. Uh, SAP. Before that, let's suppose they were using Tally itself, or they were, they were using some different ERP, okay, different software. Now, so in that case, what is happening? In that case, like they had uh, in Tally, or or like let's suppose whether it is whether they are they are using some different ERP, or uh, let's suppose they are using the books of account in the sense like registers itself is going to maintain. Just assume their case. So now in that what is happening lots of manipulations people used to do manipulation in the sense like let's suppose if registers are there then in that case like manipulations will be happening or is like let's suppose if any particular different ERP was there in that also chances of manipulation was there. So in the sense like people used to post the transactions in the previous day. Okay. Now I think if I quote the register related example then it will be pretty easy to understand. Say for example. So, okay, there is an invoice. There is an invoice received. I'm talking about previous year. Okay, uh, there is an invoice received on, say, for example, which date? So, let's suppose 15th 06 2019. I'm talking about previous year. Okay. There is a guy, let's suppose Mr. A. He is a like he is from invoice department. Invoice department is let's suppose in account payable. Account payable department. So in that also, like some people are going to be part of invoice posting. What you said they'll be keep on posting invoices. Somebody will create the PO. Somebody is going to release the payment, right? Somebody is are the part of help this team. So even in a single team also everybody's will have different different roles and responsibility. So now let's suppose this A is responsible to post the invoices. Now A has received one invoice on 15th of let's suppose 15th of June. 15th of June he has received the invoice. Then what is happening? And he forgotten. He forgotten to post this invoice. Right? He forgotten to post the invoice and now it is let's suppose already so invoice was not posted okay let's suppose it is like 0507 2020 on this particular date somehow he realized that oh my god i have made a mistake and there was invoice which was which was not posted into system so now this is now the current date is not here 2020 guys it is 2019 i'm talking about right 2020 on 2020 onwards sap is going to be so let's suppose right now they're using the registers in the sense which registers they use to maintain or else a different year we are using so now on this date invoice was received and on this particular date it means after 20 days days he realized that he forgotten to post the invoice now what is happening guys so this person is going to post the invoice invoice so on which date it is going to be generally it is the current date is 0507 but in the register easily they are going to manipulate and the invoice is going to be posted in previous date or else if any different erp is there in that also easily they are going to manipulate in the sense invoice is going to be posted and at the time of posting the invoice, what is happening? They are going to give the previous date. Okay. Even though it is 5th of July, but invoice is getting, getting posted on this date, on this particular date itself. So what will happen, guys? People will not able to, they will not come to know that this is like it was posted, posted in the previous date. <laughs> but during audit, auditor will be able to find out. Okay, auditors. Uh, are able to find out how they will be able to find out guys because 
let's suppose in june month june month let's suppose uh, total worth of how many total total worth of like 10000 worth of let's suppose invoice got posted total invoice worth of 10000 got posted and on that whatever let's suppose tds is getting deducted there is a particular tax just as you because once we once i cover the tax related things there we are going to discuss in details now so there is certain tax got deducted on this 10000 rupees so let's suppose 10% let's suppose 10% tds got deducted so how much 1000 tax got deducted right so now what is happening guys 1000 tax got deducted now whatever the so at month end it means like this is worth of invoice got posted guys right and on this the total tds got calculated in the sense total tax got calculated that is 1000 rupees right and this is going to be deposited to the respective whichever the department is their tax authority or department this is going to be 1000 rupees got it deposited right accounting entries everything has taken this now what this fellow is doing now in june month he is going to insert one more thousand rupees in previous date means it is going to be posted in june month itself right so since in june month the actual transaction invoice got posted worth of ten thousand rupees total invoice and on that the tax tax got calculated ten percent that is one thousand right now he has done a backdated posting even though we were in july but it was posted in june so now the total how much balance will be there in june month guys so total balance become total balance is eleven thousand now right but if they are going to calculate the tds in the sense how much tds got elected only ten thousand it's a kind of fraud why because how come it's possible that eleven thousand worth of invoice got posted and tds is only ten thousand it means they are stealing the tax right so generally management will not what to say accept such kind of things at all they will never accept such kind of manipulations and all because uh, of course during every audit anyway it is going to be find out that okay these, these kind of things are happening so because of this because of mistake done by this person right it's it's like a kind of fraud itself is going to be treated guys because the government is very strict in terms of taxes and all so now here in the previous date transaction got posted but anyway during audit and all people will come to know that something went wrong something has happened because the total worth of invoice is this much whereas the total tds got deducted less okay so now what is happening guys so this is let's suppose they are using books of like they're maintaining the registration or else they're using some different erp now the things come here now it is going to be sap okay sap is going to be used so this fellow is pretty much habituated of making such kind of mistake because he knows that okay anyway uh, uh, there will be some careless people so he knows that okay even if i uh what to say forget also no worries because i'm able ready to uh, i'm able to post the invoice in the previous date back the invoice is going to be posted now the same mistake he has done again same mistake so now it's not 2019 now it is 2020 so 2020 means what guys 2020 means now earlier let's suppose they are using a different erp erp now we are using sap now we are using sap so in that like what is happening again he is trying to so now he is going to he is trying to post again like let's suppose this is the date okay so he is trying to post the invoice in bank date uh, bank date but system is not allowing him to post the invoice in bank date why because in sap there is a control okay what kind of control is there guys we are having options to open and close the period okay we are having options to open and close the period what kind of options are there guys so i'll tell you now so generally try to understand guys don't look at the configurations part configurations within a minute we can do the configurations right but we need to understand the logic 
what is the use what kind of control is going to have if, if if we are going to set up this posting period variant what is the exact use of this posting period variant how it is going to uh, you know what kind of impact is going to be made right so now here so first of all what is happening guys posting period variant posting period variant let's suppose so so we are going to set up a posting period variant okay let's suppose okay so i will just do one thing i just copy these things and it is not possible so give you a posting period variant okay and from period and here then to period and here so here we are having such kind of functionality okay now so what is happening guys in post so we are going to create a posting period variant let's suppose we have created a posting period variant and the code is t p p v this is the code we have given okay or is even uh, this is the code let's suppose we have given a posting period variant we have created and this is the code we have given so once we have created the posting period variant guys first of all we have to create a posting period variant and once it is created then after creation it is going to be assigned linked with the company code so this posting period variant got created and it is going to be assigned with the company code okay now against this posting period variant we are having we are having options to open and close the period let's suppose so this is now if we have entered in july so july means let's suppose if we are having let uh, say for example we are using calendar year okay calendar year means jan to december so july will be which period guys july will be seventh period once i'm going to configure the things and all we we'll use non calendar year don't worry but right now i just want to make it so simple so that you guys will be able to understand so july is which period guys july july is means period equals to what guys period equals to month okay july means which month seventh month right it means seventh period year let's suppose 2020 okay and here two period also i have given seventh and year 2020 okay so now whenever we are going to post a transaction the transactions are getting posted against a particular company code always the transaction will be posted against a particular company code guys right now so because the thing is if, if the transaction is getting posted i told the very first question itself for which subsidiary it is a tata motor tata steel tata chemical or any other right so transactions are always going to be posted against company code so once the transaction got posted once the transaction is going to be posted against the company code once you have given the company code right then what is happening guys once the user has given the company code then in background system is going to check against this company code what posting period variant has been assigned so system found that this is the posting period variant it is tppv which got assigned okay this practically we are going to see how it is going to be assigned and all and later like once the complete configuration is done then even we can check the control practically also so that you guys will be having perfect understanding so now here against your company code which posting period variant got assigned guys so it is tppv and against TPPV posting period variant, which which period is open? So here seventh from period seventh and two period seven. It means only one period is open. That is seventh period. Seventh period means July. And this fellow, this fellow, even though let's suppose we are in July, he is trying to post the transaction which belongs to previous month in the sense sixth period. So if transaction is getting posted for sixth period, system will find out whether sixth period is open or not. But here there is no sixth period seventh period only is open so now system will deny to post the transaction okay system will deny in the sense like system is going to throw some error message that it is not possible transaction is not possible to post since the period is not open so now what is happening guys it's a kind of control look at here earlier because of this privilege they used to maintain they, they were very much careless and all and then they used to uh, do lots of manipulations right during audit of course it is going to be caught but that is too late right so now here in SAP it is having such kind of control is there such kind of control in the sense 
we can open and close the period okay open and close in the sense now so what is happening sixth period he want to post the transaction for sixth period but here sixth period is not open sixth period will be open only if you give from six if you are going to give from six 2020 to seven 2020 it means june period is also open here june is also open and july is also open right if you are going to make it fifth period it means april is also open sorry may month is also open june is also open and july is also open three periods are open right so generally what is happening guys in sap always the current period is going to be open every month in the every month in what is happening once the new new period is going to be started once the new period is going to be started then in the sense first july what is happening guys this july period is going to be open okay now even in that like it doesn't mean that immediately the uh, previous period is going to be closed in that i'll, I'll explain you guys i'll let you know uh, how this process is going to work out so now let's suppose for him there is a restriction seventh period got open it means only july to july no june so he won't be able to post the project okay he won't be able to post the transaction so this is what the control okay it means here we can open and close the post for transaction posting right the other benefit of opening and closing period means even if seventh period is there it means system will not allow to post the transactions neither in backdated period sorry back period in the sense like past period nor in future period if you are going to post a transactions, let's suppose instead of seven, if I have given period eight, like let's suppose here, if I'm going to give a date, 0508-2020, even though it is seventh month, by mistake, if somebody has given this date, then which period is it is eighth period, right? That is also not going to be a sign. Uh, that is also not going to be possible to post by because future period is also not 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 possible here because only current period is open so there is no possibility of making mistake in terms of dates and all right so this is what the control is there now now there is another thing okay so once like once once he is going to post the transactions he'll be getting error he'll be getting error and in that case there is no uh, there is no any kind of like there is no any other options okay why because if you talk about like he, how the how the posting periods are going to be maintained guys in sap we are having a transaction code ob52 this is this transaction is going to be used to maintain the posting period okay but this transaction this transaction is having like here some authorizations kind of things will be there OB52 transaction code authorizations will be there to very limited number of people. That too might be TA level or manager level people, and that too one or two guys will be responsible. They these people only can use this transaction code and will be able to maintain this period. Okay, so now this A must have to approach to the manager, whoever is having authorization, must have to accept the mistake that yes. I have made the mistake and all right and then only manager or TL whoever is there is going to post the previous period right and we'll say that you just post the transactions quickly and let me know okay now then there is one more thing guys okay there is one more thing now let's suppose apart from this a okay there is two more guys b and c okay now so there are three people all are close friends he has made this mistake trying to post the transaction in the previous previous period in the sense previous month system is not allowing allowing, allowing why because only current period is open okay so now a is thinking what to do is there any other options in sap there is no any other options he is going to discuss with his friends b and c okay so now these people are what they are suggesting 
no man you have to accept your mistake just go to uh, the tl or manager whoever is authorized person is there just go and accept the mistake they are going to they will uh, you know open the previous period and all okay so these people are going to uh, convince him now but indirectly even these fellow also has done the similar mistake they have also posted a forgotten to post a transaction which belongs to previous period right and they were also thinking the same that okay i'll just go and uh, i'll accept my mistake to the manager and then i'll post the transactions right so they have also done the similar mistake but now what is happening guys since a already accepted that i have made a mistake and previous transaction previous date transaction i forgotten to post so now they got an opportunity and they said like okay you just go and approach him and you accept your mistake okay so what they are thinking they are thinking that once he go and approach to the manager and once the manager is going to post the previous period six let's suppose previous period means from six to seven it means june and july both then immediately so if it is open then what is happening once he is because all are sitting together in the sense different different cubicle will be there but sitting side side by side only so once it is going to be open these people also will come to know and they will also post their transaction in the previous period okay so in that case what is happening guys only these people become highlighted in the eye of managers or tl whoever is there but these people were able to hide their mistake that is their thinking right so now a is going to approach to the manager saying that so i have made a mistake now manager is going to open the previous period in the sense manager will say that okay you just do one thing try to post the transaction after 10 minutes because i'm going to open the period previous period so i'll just inform you so internal anyway the chat box will be there communicator will be there they're going to communicate right now so but the manager is very clever manager or tl whoever is there right that guy know that it's not only a even there are few more people who has made the similar mistake but those fellows are not coming they are not coming and not accepting their mistake so if i am going to open the period previous period then what will happen then even other people also may be able to post the transactions so in that case only i came to know about a what about the remaining this this people who has made the mistake and all right so manager is very clever manager is going to do one more thing okay so manager is very clever and here manager is going to do what i'll tell you okay so now here so here from period now we're having two such kind of things okay this is called from period one and two period and here from period two okay so now this is sorry i'll make it red color so look at here now so it means now what is happening guys here okay it will be like this okay now now what is happening generally and there is one more thing called uh, it is called authorization group authorization group authorization group also will be there it will be like this okay so now okay so now what is happening guys no so manager will do one thing first of all so we are having from period one and from period two so manager will do one thing guys manager is going to open seventh period here okay from period two means seventh period it will be here seventh period will be open okay and the sixth period is going to open here so even in this way also look at here now the question is what is the differences 
right in this case also from period one means here sixth period got omit open and here seventh period got open right so instead of doing like this even we can give here six to seven also but i'll tell you why manager has done like this okay so manager has opened six period here and seventh period here so now there is one more thing guys in this posting period variant we are having an option called authorization group so authorization group let's suppose one authorization and who is going to maintain this authorization group guys authorization group related setting here we need to involve our basis consultant what is the use of basis consultant guys basis consultant is the person who is going to uh, what to say uh, who is going to install this server okay server installations are going to be done by basis consultant itself even transport request movement in that also you will be having role of basis consultant who is going to set up your user id and password that is going to be set up by this basis people only okay basis people itself now uh, apart from this like let's suppose uh, authorizations related issues authorizations means somebody will be able to somebody will be authorized to use ob52 transaction code but somebody will not be able to use this transaction code it means so this is a kind of authorization related so authorizations will be given by whom it is going to be granted by basis people only okay authorization is a kind of control now so what is happening guys our authorization group has been created xyz so what manager has done okay so here authorization group has been given let's suppose xyz okay xyz has been given and against xyz he is going to assign user id a only a only okay user id a only so in that case what is happening guys now so when when so here what is happening guys now this become normal period in the sense current period we have opened here so for from period two from period two generally the seventh period is open so this is open for everybody for everyone whoever is there in tata motor seventh period is open but as i told you the sixth period is also open but sixth period is open for what for this authorization group sixth period is open for this authorization group xyz and under xyz we have assigned only one user id that belongs to a it means a is having authorization to post the transaction in sixth period remaining these people two people will not be having authorization to post that transaction in sixth period in the sense previous period so now what is happening a is coming back and a also informed the friends like okay sir is going to open the period now i'm happy i'm happy i'm going to post the transaction right so once the period got open a started posting the transaction and these people also simultaneously they're trying so once he is going to post the transaction there is no issues why because system is going to find out for which company code it is tm00 right against tm00 again system is going to find out like this is posting for which period so here six means sixth period so sixth period is open or not so in normal like it is not not open seventh period is open but here in period one sixth period is open but here some certain conditions are there this sixth period is open for this authorization group xyz and against this authorization group one user id is assigned which one a it means sixth period is open only for a so once a is going to post the transaction he is going to log in through his own user id so a will be able to post the transaction at the same time b and c will not be able to post the transaction so now what will happen guys one by one these people also have to approach to the management they have to accept the mistake and then what is happening manager will say that I, I was knowing that some more people will be there right so what they are going to do let's suppose they have assigned this user id also. so now these people will be able to post the transaction so look at here guys what kind of control is there in posting period variant multiple control is there now let's suppose there was a requirement recently earlier okay now the requirement was that let's suppose current period is seventh period it means july okay so july is supposed to be open at the same time there was some uh, what is a normal jb they was they wanted to post adjustment entries were supposed to be posted in the previous month and that too in may month may month means fifth period 
right fifth period so now what is the what is the now here let's suppose authorization we have not given so now what is the requirement guys the requirement is fifth period supposed to be open okay so let's suppose if you are going to make it like here from one here itself seven to seven is open okay and let's suppose from two i have not given anything i have not given anything in from one i have given let's suppose seven to seven okay it means current period open so if fifth period is going to be open guys then here i'm going to give five so what is happening fifth period got open but even sixth also got open five to seven means six is coming in between right so the requirement was fifth supposed to be open and seven supposed to, supposed to be open but six should not be open so in that case what is happening it will be like this okay so in that case here let's suppose here seventh or is even here also seventh can be done so here i have opened the seventh period let's suppose here seventh is already open and here what is happening fifth period is only open so now what is happening five to five five to five means fifth period open and seven to seven then july is also open since authorization group we have not given it means this fifth period and seventh period is open for every user every user authorization means we are going to restrict even some more other things are there guys in posting period where it is not over here itself right in real time we are not going to maintain like this even multiple other things also will come in the picture but that will be covered in a single session it's not possible will be covered not right now first of all you need to understand the uses and then uh, in real time how it is going to happen that also you will get you will come to know that right so now here now here this is what the use of posting period variant what is the use of posting period variant guys posting period variant controls the posting of transaction for a specific period a specific period means for a particular period we can control only seventh period is going to be used for transaction posting past period and future period will not be allowed this is what the use right and apart from this i quoted i quoted this example so even such kind of control is also there user id wise control also will be there okay for a particular user also can be possible for a group of user right let's suppose current period we have opened right and apart from this i want to open a previous period for a particular user is it possible yes it is possible or i want to open previous period for a group of user five users will be there is it possible yes it is possible how it is possible so authorization group will need to be set up once the authorization group is set up then the, the required user ids are going to be assigned against that so now what is happening once whatever user id assigned against that particular authorization group so now what is happening guys those users are only will be able to post the transactions for this periods okay remaining user will not be authorized to post the transaction okay so this is what the use of posting period variant now what is happening guys how to set up so it is quite easy let me log in here and show you how to set up this posting period variant if we talk no. about the configuration guys yeah i have a doubt yeah tell me so how does the authentication group knows whether i have to check period one or period two repeat again your question now how does authentication group knows whether it has to enable period one or period two only for that user no 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 wait wait by default authorize you are talking about how the authorization group here how like authorization group will come to know like we are we are what to say controlling like period one or period two right this is what ah, is yes. the question hmm, yes. okay so authorization group means whatever we are giving right so generally what is happening guys the general periods are going to be the normal period normally period is going to be open here itself period number one from period one okay this is called now this is called what this is called interval one okay and this is called interval two okay this is called interval one and this is called interval two okay so when what is happening when you give an authorization group here it means in 
this interval one is going to be booked for this authorization group xyz it means whatever periods are going to be open here this is going to be open this is this is restricted for this authorization group only okay and this is the general period which is open for every users this is the general period which is open for every period so now in authorization group let's suppose we have assigned an authorization group and here period got open fifth period so whatever user id got assigned against this authorization group those user only will be having access for this period it means they will be able to post the transaction for this period and remaining user will be able to post the transaction for this period okay so automatically system will come to know if you are going to assign the authorization group it means this interval one is reserved for this authorization group itself by default okay